Hi everyone, I'm Tracy. Welcome to my channel. I'm an acupuncturist and a yoga teacher. Welcome to Muskoka, Canada. I am here grounding my feet. My feet are outside of my shoes and I want to share a nice little practice with you where we can feel a little more limber and get a little more balanced and that's in mind and in body. Okay, so to start our practice, we're always going to have our feet hip width distance apart. Okay, spread the toes, knees on top of the ankle, shoulders stacked on top of the waist. I want you to draw the belly in. So we have these transverse abdominus muscles here. I want you to think about bringing them in toward the belly button and then lift all the way up, lengthening the spine, all through the crown of the head, all the way up. Draw the chin in. Okay, so not down, but back and in and have the kind of the sh just show the ears are going a little bit to the shoulders. Okay, so with this posture, this is actually a seated Tadasana mountain pose. In this posture, we're going to start our practice with our eyes gently closed. We're going to go ahead and take two deep breaths, inhaling, exhaling out, breathing in and exhaling out <sighs> well done open up your eyes if you had closed them we're going to go ahead and take your arms all the way to the side inhaling lift and lengthening and then exhaling hands to the heart when we start our practice with doing these very simple movements arms to the sides breathing in and exhale breathing out hands to the heart kind of gauging how we're feeling right now breathing in and out. So I want you to practice ahimsa. This is non-violence to the body. So if any part of the body is feeling uncomfortable, we're going to stop or we're going to go a bit slower than what I'm doing. Okay, breathing in and out. One more time, inhaling, lift, lengthen all the way up and exhale, hands to the heart. Great. From here, inhale, lift, lengthen all the way through the crown of the head. We're going to go ahead for a gentle twist. To the right great come on back to center let's go ahead and twist to the other side perfect come on back to center let's take our palms out and open them up breathing in here and then exhale lower the hands down awesome again breathing in and down again breathing in and out one more time in and out. Let's go ahead and take the right arm all the way up, lift and lengthen up, sway to the side. Awesome. Come on back up, lift and sway. Okay, inhale, lift and exhale, soften, lift and release. Okay, let's do the other arm. Lift all the way up, draw the belly in and sway. Notice where you're feeling all this. Breathing in and sway. Three times a charm, one more time. Breathing in and exhale, breathe out. Perfect, come on back up and release. Let's go ahead and roll the shoulders out for three, two, and one. Oosh, good. I want you to take your fingertips on top of the shoulders. We're going to lift the elbow up and back, up and back. And as we do this, I want you to not grind those sits bones into the chair, but I want you to have a little more fluidity in the hip. So we're kind of just softening and moving, going with the flow. And we're breathing as we do this. In and out. Now, what does it feel like to go the opposite direction? Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Perfect. Now expand the arms all the way up, high 10 to the heavens, to the sky, breathe in, and then exhale, lower the hands down. <clears throat> now this is a perfect place to start, our cow and cat. So hands to the thighs, I'm going to roll the shoulders back and down to the tailbone, stick the tailbone out to the back of the chair, lift your chest up to the sky, lift your heart up, lift the chin up, breathe in, and then as you exhale, I'd like you to take your fingertips to the front of the knees, the front of the legs, draw the belly to the back, 
draw your chin into the chest. Ooh, good. Breathing in. Same thing for cow pose. And exhale, seated cat. So this is a beautiful way to articulate the spine. Breathing in and out. Okay, we're gonna do two more. How does it feel? Breathing in and out. In and out. I love these poses. You can do them anywhere, even in the car, as long as you push the car seat all the way back. Of course, not when you're driving. So let's take our hands back onto the thighs. We're gonna take the arms all the way up. Breathing in, lift all the way up. And this time I like you to take the arms out to the sides, just like this. You're giving me like high 10 to the, um, one on each side for you, um, to the side. Relax the shoulders, breathe in here. And then exhale, I want you to clasp the hands together. Good, breathing in, open them up, expanding the chest. Exhale, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Breathing in, tight belly, lift through the crown of the head, nice and tall spine, breathing out. Breathing in, now I'd like you to sway to the side, expand, really show me those yoga fingers, okay? Good, back to center, breathe in, breathing out. Show me those yoga fingers, give them a little wave. Back to center, breathing in, breathing out. Reach, breathing in, breathing out, in, and release. Woo. Let's roll the shoulders out again for three, two, and one. Has anybody ever played the piano? I'd like you to imagine you're playing the piano and imagine your piano in front of you. And so it's a big grand piano, so you need to press hard on those keys to make a noise. So we're gonna press the piano in front of us and then all the way out to the side. Do, 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 do. And I'd like you to play the piano in the air, air piano, and then down piano all the way down, 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 down to the thighs and shake them out. Perfect. Now interlace the fingers and I'd like you to roll out the wrist. So a lot of times um, we don't give a lot of love to the wrist, but the wrists are very important. And you'll notice this when we start to do any weight bearing activities, where we're actually pressing our hands down and pushing ourselves up. So we need to strengthen and lubricate these areas. And the best way to do it is through movement. Motion is lotion. So we're gonna go ahead and rotate them one way, and I'd like you to rotate it the other way. Perfect. Now from here, show me your best worm roller coaster, rolling it out. Okay. And then show me the other way. How are you doing it the other way? Awesome. Now from here, still keep them interlaced and reach all the way up to the sky. Draw the belly in, lift, 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 lift up, breathe in. And then exhale, show me your cat pose, but leave your hands in this position. So you really gotta draw the belly back, push the knuckles to the front. Okay, good, chin to the chest. Now lift all the way up, breathe in, and then exhale, take your hand to the back of your head. Ah, now I'm basking in the sun here. I'm not sure where you're practicing right now, but ah, lift up your chest, expand the elbows outward, open up your heart, and the most important, when you do something like this, we're not dumping into the lower back. We're drawing the belly in and lifting through the heart. Okay, breathe in and out. Okay, tighten your belly muscles, lift up the chest, breathing in, and then exhale, breathe out. Come back to neutral spine, relax the shoulders, breathe in here, and then we're gonna go ahead and twist. Breathe out. Ooh. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist. Good, back to center, breathing in. Again, relax those shoulders, no tension. Breathe out. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist. Good, come on back to center. Woo, release the arms down. Shake out the arms. Give me a nice free roll, shoulder rolls. One, don't forget to breathe. Two, and three. Perfect. Now this is where I like to, because everything got a little 
feeling like things are moving and feels maybe ooh, a little grumpy still, we're gonna go ahead and tap into our shoulder, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and place my hand into a gentle fist, okay? I'm gonna top at the, tap at the top of my shoulder here. This is gallbladder 21 acupuncture point. It's a very common point that I use in my practice for people that have shoulder and neck tension. So you're gonna go ahead and tap into this spot. Breathe. And then I'd like you to tap all the way down to the uh, down the arm, the outside of the arm, then turn it over and tap on the inside of the arm. All the way back up. And then I'll tap back to the top of the shoulder. Good. From here, we're gonna tap down again and back up, palm all the way back up. Now, this time, take your arm all the way up and start gently tapping into the axilla, your armpit. There's a lot of lovely lymph nodes in there. We're just gently tapping into there, get things moving. Breathe, and then breathing out. <sighs> Release, release the hand, shake everything out. I want you to take notice, what does it feel like here? So how does this arm feel versus this one? Doesn't this arm feel a little more alive? Okay, let's go ahead and do the other side. So we're gonna take a gentle fist in the other hand and tap onto this shoulder. Okay, tapping, gallbladder 21 on the other side. Great for shoulder and neck tension. Breathing in and out. And go ahead and tap down. And turn the palm up and go ahead and Tap all the way up. Okay, tap, tap, tap. And down. Keep on breathing. Turn the palm all the way up. Now we're gonna lift up the arm and gently tap into our armpit. Stimulating the lymphatic system here. Love this. And then release. Whew. Release and shake it all out. Well done. From here, I'd like you to go ahead and tap just underneath the collarbones. Tap, tap, tap here for three. Breathing, two, and one. <sighs> Great. From here, take the arms all the way up, arms up, and then hands to the heart. Breathe out. Awesome. Now, take the hands back down. We're gonna go ahead and work on our ankles, the other, the opposite ends of our wrists. So we're gonna go ahead and grab onto our right knee into the chest for a nice big hug. I'm gonna wiggle my toes here. I'd like you to do that too. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then go ahead and place the foot on top of the thigh. If you can, I encourage you to do this. Take your fingers and interlace them into the toes. And then go ahead and, not cranking, but gently rotating the ankle here. Okay, for three, breathing, two, and one. Great. Let's go the other way. Three, two, one. Awesome. Release. Release the fingers. Go ahead and just start to tap onto your feet. Good. How does that feel? Wiggle the toes. Release the release the leg back up and then release it back down awesome we're going to do the other side interlace the fingers squeeze that knee up into the chest nice tall spine breathe air in here wiggle wiggle the toes and then cross the foot over interlace those fingers into the toes if you can great and we're going to rotate the ankle for three Breathing, two, one, other way, three, two, and one. Perfect. Undo those fingers, go ahead and tap, 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 tap those feet. <clears throat> How's that feel? Perfect. Now help that leg back up, breathe in and then release. Let's go ahead and make sure our feet are back to hip width distance apart. Spread the toes, knees on top of the ankle. I'd like you to take those fists again. We're gonna go ahead and tap down the legs. So tap onto the side of the legs. 
These are actually a couple very important acupuncture points on the side here. If anybody's ever suffered from sciatica, oof, they can be a doozy. So we're gonna go ahead and tap into that point. Okay. And then just come all the way down the side, down the leg, and we're gonna come back up, tight belly, tap on the inside of the leg, all the way back up. So did you notice I said tight belly? We need to engage our belly muscles when we come back up so we don't uh, put strain on our lower back. So go ahead and tap. And breathe out, come all the way down. Tap, 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 down, good. Now tap, 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 all the way up, but tight belly and breathe in as you come on up. In, in, inhale. <sighs> we'll do that again, tap down and inhale tight belly all the way up <sighs> well done take a breath notice how the whole body feels sometimes when you just tap on yourself you feel so good everything is buzzy that's what we say is our chi our life force and our blood is just starting to move so let's take a breath here breathe in and out <sighs> Well done. To close our practice, we're gonna take our arms all the way up, reach all the way up to the sky, and take our hands to our hearts. I'd like you to um, close your eyes if you can with me. Take a moment to thank for the gift of today and the gift of practicing. For me, is I'm grateful and I'm thankful for the gift of you practicing with me. <sighs> Peace, everyone, and namaste. Thank you. If you enjoyed this practice, please consider subscribing, send me a comment, and give me a thumbs up. I'd love to hear from you.